This is Hydrogen Tap. What we're going to do in this video is show you how you make a Series 3LR1000. We've got a huge block of plastic that's one half inch thick, and we've cut those five by five inch pieces out. One of those is going to be for the top of the unit, one of those is going to be for the bottom. This is the material we're going to use that it's going to become the gasket to seal the unit closed. Remember, on the 3LR1000, you can take it apart, so there's no glue involved. This gasket material I use on engine blocks. And what we're going to do is trace an outline of the 5-inch square block so we can cut it out. Remember also while we're doing this, I am start working on the pulse unit that's going to go with the system. The last video does show that. Got a couple of requests to ask if I'm going to sell the electronics to go with this. I will be doing just exactly the same that I've done with the other units, showing every step of the way, also selling parts so other people can put them together. What we'll do now is copy or cut the square out. Remember, this is going to be the gasket for the bottom half of the unit. Remember, the 3LR1000, uh, you can go to the website hydrogentap.com and see more information on that if you like. If you want to make it, fine. If you don't, I am selling this for $200 US in the US Continental. The website explains that. Also, I've got a lot of things on the website to show the pulse systems. There's so just a lot of information on there you might want to check. That's hydrogentap.com. I appreciate all the email I've got and I try to answer every piece. What we have to do now is make holes in the 5 inch plastic to take the steel rods those holes are put one half inch inside, as you can see. There it is. There's not time on this video to do that. Another step that's going to be left out is you have to make holes through this seal to fit on there. Now what we're going to do is cut out the center and that's what I use to trace that out. Seems easy, right? And there you see the center with the holes, which is a little harder than it looks to get it good. So now we have the seal that's going to go on the bottom of the unit. And what we do is put these steel pieces, there's four around it. These four steel rods are what hold the unit together and press the unit against the seal that's on the bottom and the seal that's on the top. I also put a kind of a cap on the bottom so it becomes a stand. Now you see the all four stain all four steel units that hold the unit together. Not too bad. 
again, there's no glue holding it together. That's done on purpose. And since we're using the seal method, it's the whole unit will come apart, which is why I designed it that way. This way you can have access to every single piece. This is a, or would be a six foot long PVC pipe. What we do is cut out the midsection on this, which is going to be nine inches. And here we have that. I do not do the cutouts on my systems. I have a shop do it because it's got to be done precision if you want the seal to work well. I found out that cutting with a regular saw just won't do the trick. So this unit is about, is nine inches tall. I get that pre-cut. Also, the other thing, I scrub off the lettering on the unit itself. So when you get it, it's almost all white. There's a special chemical I use to do that, which doesn't smell too nice, but it makes it look good. Now you can see the unit with the seal on the bottom. And now we have to make a seal for the top or a gasket for the top. Do the same thing, only this just goes around the top. Seems easy enough. Thinking, of, thinking about how to do all this makes it hard. Once you see how easy it is, then it's easy to come up behind, backdoor it. There's the top. And I don't have time to show you all the drilling process and the fitting process. See the two electrodes in the top, the two ports. And we have to drill and put those. That's the fill sensors. There's two of those. And that's the through port on the bottom that allows you to daisy chain the units together or do anything else you want. 